Hello, hi guys, it's Inam here. Now a chair is not just a chair and I've just had my chair delivered here. Now this is a Dynamic Storm Mark II. And obviously it's still in a box, flat pack. So let's put it together. Now this comes in a number of colors, fabrics, but I like bright colors, so hence I've got orange. Now, it's not ev to everybody's tastes, obviously, but it certainly looks good. And this does come in fabric, mesh, and elastane. The Mark II comes in elastane, so it's not quite a rubbery material. See if we can get a little bit closer there so you can see kind of the dimples on the material. But it's not really rubbery either, but it's definitely breathable, as you can see. And should be easily wiped downable as well if you wanted to clean it. So a little bit better than fabric. Uh, if we have a look at the armrest, first of all, you can move those around left and right, whichever way you prefer. If you want to change the height, just push them back and then pull them up and they lock in place by pushing them forward. So push them back and then you can go up or down and they lock when they go towards the front. And as you can see, the lumbar support here is I've got all the way out and it's controlled by this little cog. If I turn this around, so hopefully the light can hit it a little bit better. You can see there's a, a cog in there and you simply move it around left or right however you prefer and the lumbar support comes in and out now as we're on the back here the back does also go up and down as well same um, principle as uh, the arms simply push this forward so you can see these little uh, i don't know if you can there you go you can see these little teeth along the back here so all you do is push this forward and it comes off these teeth and it will then move up depending on which way you push it. So as you can see, pushed it all the way up and the back is all the way up into the headrest there. So if we can do the same thing again, see with the teeth, push it forward and it slots down. And I think I had it somewhere wrong there, but I can change it around. Same goes for the headrest as well. Again, using those same teeth, you just push it forward and then pull up and you can see the teeth along the back here and there we go incidentally if you wonder what this allen key does if you it changes the tension so either you can push this forward with a lot of force or minimal force this basically makes this very loose or very stiff when you're pushing it forward and such like so that's the chair in a nutshell and just show you what the mechanisms do down here. So you've got this little swivelly thing here. And what this does is it changes the tension at which the chair tilts backwards and forwards. So if you take it, say, swivel it all the way so it's very, very loose, then you'll be able to tilt the chair backwards very, very easily. If you change this so it's very stiff, then you won't be able to push the chair back as easily as if the tension is fully loose. Now, this rod here um, hires and lowers the chair. So if I just sit on the chair a second to make that go down, and if I, there you go, all the way down, and if I push it forward or up, there you go, that's the height of the chair. Swivel it around on the other side here and what this does is it locks the position of the chair on the tilt so basically if uh, you've got this you're pushing back on the chair and you want to keep it at that tilted angle then you can lock this into position so see how the chairs mainly flat here if I jump on the chair a second and then pull on this when I'm all the way back and then flick this down that's now locked and you can see the chair is a little bit further back tilted if i give that another go and say if i want to there you go you heard it click there and i can push it forward and backwards by just using the power of my feet and see if i can go all the way back as far as I can and you can see 
the chair is pretty tilted back there and it's not just the back that goes uh, tilted the base of the chair also slides forward as well so if I go back on here and get this going to the upmost position and if I just use my feet again just to there you go you can hear the click and you can see the chairs upright again and the base slides down a little bit so yeah very well made indeed looks the part yeah how cool is that that's a dynamics elastane mark ii storm i think it's called i'll leave a link to it down in the description box below i think around the world it's known by different names so i'll try and leave a link down to it from various other sites so you can have a look around the world but yeah a chair is not just a chair if you spend more than a few hours on one then it makes sense to invest a lot of money so your health is not compromised and you don't cripple yourself there we have it guys that's been a look at my new chair please like subscribe and hit that notification bell thanks for watching have a wicked day and i'll see you next time